Hi, hello. So today I want to play some Dorabe levels once again. Yeah, a little while ago I played all the Dorabe basic levels again. Um, some of them I hadn't played before, some of them I had. But today I want to play some levels that I don't think I've played any of actually, and that is the Dorabe difficult ones. Goes all the way up to Dorabe difficult seven, and although it's not rated, I think I'm going to try and play all of these. Yeah. So let's start off with Dorabe difficult by, well, Dorabe. Yeah, this looks like the early Dora Bay basic levels, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> There's nothing really too special going on here. Oh, that was kinda that was kinda difficult. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm gonna see how far we can get with our practice mode. I'll probably end up needing it, but you know what? We'll see how well we can do. See how far we can get. Yeah, so I thought all of these were demons, but it turns out that the first couple, or at least this one, and then I think number three are nine stars. So won't be as hard as I thought it might be, which is nice. I like the saw blade corridor. <laughs> Oh, okay, we're still going. <laughs> oh god, Nelly died there. Bro. This level's long, what? Or I guess it's the same length as like the Electroman Adventures song, but still, jeez. I feel like I need to re-enable the like, get rid of no particles and get rid of trail always off. I feel, I feel like I need the trail on and I need the particles for this. Just for the old school experience, you know? Two clicks there. Oh my god! Fine, I'm practicing. That's only 47%. I, I should probably just hop straight into practice, I think. Okay, once you line yourself up right, that UFO part's not too bad, and then it's just another ship. This doesn't seem too difficult either. Oh, that is a sneaky little timing. So you have to go up and then down to, in order to survive there. Oh, this part's hard. Okay. I guess it's not that bad. Just a couple things to remember, right? This is literally the same as the Dora Bay basic, but like Dora Bay difficult, I guess. Is that what this level is? Is Dora Bay difficult levels just buffed versions of Dora Bay basic levels? Is that what these are? Bro was buffing before any of us. Oh God. Yeah, this is... Definitely very similar to that last part in Dora Bay Basic. Okay. I feel like I could do this. I want to practice that end part a little bit more though, especially this last ball. Oh my god, dude. That last part is terrifying. Oh, all right. Well, let's go from zero. I feel like we can do this. It's a nine star. It shouldn't be that hard, right? Surely. Why did I try and go through there, you idiot, you moron, bro? What the hell? Oh, bro, no! Don't die at this end. I didn't die at the end, let's go! Doing that last jump was risky. I don't know if you noticed that. Did like a tiny jump at the end. All right, nice. Dora Bay difficult clear. Let's go, baby. Okay, now moving on to Dora Bay difficult two, which is a medium demon, but it uses Clutterfunk and Clutterfunk's kind of a banger, so. There's no way. That is such a hard jump. Hello? Is that even possible? It would be a lot easier on 60, right? Yeah, you can literally just hold it on 60. Urgh, I hate 60 bloody bugs. 60 bugs. I hate 60 bloody bugs. Yes. Okay, it works on 240. I'm just going to play this on 240 then. <laughs> those are timings. If you click it too early, you die. So you have to like slightly time those yellow orbs. That's so hard. Hello? Okay, I can see why this is a medium demon now. These, some of these timings are really, really difficult. Oh man, this level is uh, questionable. How do I do that? Oh, like that. Okay. Oh, and there's an invisible spike. Sick. It gets harder. <laughs> oh my god, it actually does get harder. What? That's almost straight fly. You can't put straight fly in my medium demon. Hello? It's like the map packs all over again, dude. Just a nice control ship part is like just the best thing of all time in every all of these older levels. Oh my lord. And then it goes dark, does it? Oh. <laughs> Don't turn the lights off, bro. I need them. Ironically, it's easier to see the invisible spikes when it's dark. Dude. Jesus. Okay, this is gonna take me a little bit longer, I think. <laughs> you know it's bad when it took me a hundred attempts to do a practice run of a medium demon, bro. This part's really cool with like the I, I don't know man, there's like I know this isn't 1.6, but there's some 1.6 levels that like do this like neon type effect really, really well. There are a few of them in the map packs, which I thought were really, really cool as well. Like I, I dig this level, to be honest. I think it's got some interesting whoops. I think it's got some interesting themes in there. Like, you know, this style right here is very, very different to the part that's just coming up, you know 
which feels very different from a lot of the other parts in the level as well. Like this with the like black and white with the gradient and stuff, I think is very, very neat. I don't But yeah, I don't know. I think there's some neat variation here that was really hard to achieve back in like the 1.6, 1.7 days, right? All right, I think I'm just about ready to start going from zero. So let's go from zero, 255 attempts in. Oh my God, three. Nine! Okay, the triple spikes. The invisible triple spikes. Gotta love them. That part is literally just like Necropolis. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, those timings, man. They're just like... Just stop putting those... They're such boring jumps, bro. And I suck at them. If I die in this ship, I'm deleting my... Nothing. Nothing. I wasn't going to say anything. Oh my god, bro. I cannot get past this beginning now. It's so... Ah... Oh. I did the door! Yes! Oh my god, dude. This level took me like 50 minutes. This could definitely be a hard demon. This could absolutely be a hard demon, I reckon. I'm gonna rate it hard. But it, honestly, I'll give it a like. I'll give it a like. It was a cool level. Gameplay-wise, it was like kind of annoying. But other than like the gameplay, the deco was actually really, really cool for the time. I actually, I don't know. I like this level. All right, moving on to Dora Bay Difficult 3. A bit of a break, hopefully, as it's a nine star. Uh, let's go from zero. Let's see how we can do. Ooh, looks kind of hard with these timings at the start, but that's just because I suck at these kind of timings. So, you know, it's fine. Oh, okay. Yep, I'm hopping into practice. I don't care. <laughs> it's like forest temple type thing, bro. Come on. Not in my nine star. Boom, boom. Oh, you gotta like jump. Oh man, those jumps are really tight. Hello? You gotta like jump kind of early on all of those so that you don't like die to the spike on the other side. Yeah. Ooh. This is a timing challenge and a half. Oh, shit part though. Hello. Just a couple portals in there. That's, that's fine. Yeah, no, that's chill. That's chill, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> the UFO part has no right to line up, but it just kind of does, which is kind of funny. Transitions that go hard. Yo! Oh my god, this part's awesome. What? That was a really cool part, man. Okay, yeah, so this is this is definitely very reminiscent of Adora Bay Basic level that I vaguely remember. I don't know, it was a little while ago that I did play them, to be fair. Oh, these jumps, those jumps, bro. Those timings, why? Oh, no. A lot of things we have to click earlier than you think you do in this level, which I think is kind of interesting, not gonna lie. Okay, yeah, this is definitely a hell of a lot easier than the one we just played, though. So I hopefully this won't take me as long. Good job. <laughs> Good job, me. I don't know what happened. I did my click pattern completely differently to what I did in practice mode, but you know. I think I just transitioned differently to what I did in practice. Ah, bro. Ah, oh, what? No, bro. I knew I was going to die to that jump. That jump's so hard, man. I feel like I reacted in time. I just didn't time it, like, good enough. Oh, my God, bro. I knew I was going to die to that shit, bro. Why? Why can't I just use my brain? Oh, finally, bro. This recording session alone is 45 minutes. And that was after I had learnt the whole level and done runs. This is not a nine star. This is absolutely a demon. All right. Yeah, that was not a break at all. All right. Well, Dora Bay difficult four then. Let's give this a play. This is an easy demon. So hopefully it's not as difficult. Hey, it's this level. I love this Dora Bay basic turned into Dora Bay difficult. Something I am noticing about these levels, quite unfortunately, is that they're not amazing. <laughs> I mean, I think it goes without saying, but just buffing an easy level to make it hard, you generally don't end up with a very good level afterwards, right? And I think all things considered, like, these aren't necessarily horrible, but they're just not that fun, you know? Like, they'd be a lot better if they were genuinely just, like, built as a demon from the ground up. But because the gameplay was initially designed for not a demon, it's like, I don't know, like, some parts, like the UFO part in the one that we just played in Dora Bay Difficult 3, that UFO part was so inconsistent and so dodgy. I 
really, really disliked it. I spent a lot of attempts dying there to just dumb stuff. So some parts like do work surprisingly well as being like buffed, but stuff like that is just really, really frustrating. And unfortunately, yeah, I'd probably say I like the Dora Bay basic levels a lot more than these more difficult ones, which is interesting because I'm usually like quite the opposite, right? Oh my God, the flashes. I forgot about the flashes, but like I'll usually prefer gameplay that gives me a little bit more of a challenge over gameplay that I don't really have any trouble with, right? But yeah, in this case, the levels are just made to be easier. So, you know, kind of makes sense, I guess. Anyway, this level seems kind of cool. <laughs> Uh, 16 attempts. I could probably just go straight from zero with this one, to be honest. I don't think there were too many, like, memory things I needed to note. New reward, let's go! Am I meant to be reverse here? I didn't know I was mirror portal here. Whoops. Uh-oh. 37. Oh, man, I gotta practice that. <laughs> this seems like the type of level I absolutely would have beaten back in, like, 2.0 as one of my first demons. Like, I beat Lights and Thunder and Darnock Dynamics. This seemed like it would fall right into that category, but I guess I only got 4% and then gave up, so... Oh well. Also, I don't know what I was going on about thinking that this wasn't mirrored. It's obviously mirrored. There's no way it wouldn't be mirrored. No way I just... Be Bro, I nearly just beat it in practice mode. No! Okay, from zero once more. And then watch, I'm gonna die to the UFO a billion more times. Yep. Nice, okay. You know what? That was a really fun one. This is my favorite Dora Bay difficult level so far. It's just straightforward for once, you know? And it's actually not terrible with how it's buffed. It's actually quite good. 57 attempts. And how much did the previous take me? 341. Okay, I don't I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> All right, now we're on to the unrated ones. Dora Bay Difficult 5 by Dora Bay. I'm hopping straight into practice mode for this one because I have no idea how hard this is because it's not rated. It could be insane, like it says, or it could be a demon because you can't have unrated demons, right? It doesn't seem too bad so far, to be honest. How does that jewel work? I'm gonna have to learn that jewel because I have no idea what is going on there, dude. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what? Oh, this is really weird as well. Up, down, up, like that. And then, yeah, you can kind of hold out of there. And then, oh, jeez, this is hard, man. Ding, 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 ding. And a nice easy jewel ship to end it off with. And of course, you got to jump there. Yeah, yeah. I see. Okay, there we go. Ooh, this has a lot of jewels in it, and they're quite difficult jewels, so I'm gonna have to learn a lot of these, but that's alright. That's okay. I need to jump early there, and then do like that. Okay, yeah, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. It's so weird, man. Like, remember how I said the whole buffing thing, like, doesn't really work to make good gameplay? Um, it turns out that if you do it with jewels, it kind of makes it even worse. <laughs> some of these, like, actually make for some pretty tight timings in here. Like, you gotta, you know, you gotta do some pretty interesting stuff. Up there, and then down, up, and then there that's like a timing and a half because you gotta release so you don't hit this but then click so you don't hit this i'm generally not like that much of a goofy jewel enjoyer like i don't know just make your jewels normal man half the time you end up with them being super inconsistent and i don't really love having like a really inconsistent jewel for no reason that's just a personal thing but this this seems to work i don't know we'll have to see how it goes from zero but yeah all right i think hopefully i'm just about ready to go from zero not even gonna get any stars or orbs for this rob top finally had enough of Dora Bay shenanigans just getting free creator points by buffing the level. Dude, if I got creator points for all the levels I buffed, I'd be rich. <laughs> I, for some reason, I was like, yeah, let's start holding here. Way too early, bro. All right, 55. That's pretty bloody good, you know? Pretty happy with that progress very quickly. I mean, I did put a lot of practice into this level, but yeah, you know, that, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. No. You have to jump early there and I jumped too early. Oh, 96. Bro, have I fluked a single one of these levels? I feel like I've died towards the end of all of them. Yes, that time in practice mode counts as well. Nice. Okay, I did it. Oh, that took quite a while, I'm not gonna lie. Some of those jewels take a very, very long time to get used to, but you know what? I liked it. That was a fun one. All right, Tourabay difficult 
seven. Are we up to seven? What happened to Dora Bay difficult six, dude? It doesn't exist. Okay, well, we're going straight to Dora Bay difficult seven then. This is the 1.9 one. All right, sure. Oh, and it's the super long one. All right, we're in for a long one here. And it seems really lame so far. What the hell was that staircase, dude? Hello? This one seems really easy so far, but I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> Oh, hey, okay, I, I actually died. You gotta skip that orb. Oh, that's that's sneaky. That is certainly sneaky. Sick. I was waiting for the blind jump. Okay, cool. Oh, it keeps going, dude. When does it end? Bro! There's actually no shot, dude. There's no shot. Why? So evil. So evil. All right. Let's go from zero. I don't think this will take me too long. I just got to remember this, like, five clicks that you got to not click. Okay, first bit of memory remembered. Second bit of memory remembered. I let go too early and then realized, wait, I need to jump there. And then I jumped way, way, way too late. Okay. 59. That's pretty good progress for attempt one. Not gonna lie. Bro, what? <laughs> it was going that slow. I thought I hit my speed hack button. So I hit it again and it went even slower. And I was like, what? Wake me up when this level ends. That's me right now. <sighs> really? Come on, bro. There we go. I finally beat it. That took so long, but it probably took like five attempts. 31. Wait, wait, wait. Plus five. <laughs> 36 attempts. Yeah, that took uh, yeah, a little bit of time. But with that, I think that should be the last. Yeah, that is all of the Dorabe difficult levels. Oh my God. Look at all of these checkboxes. I've completed like pretty much all of Dorabe's levels, it seems like. Yeah, if you don't include the first page, I think I have actually beaten all of Dorabe's levels. That's cool. All right. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and end off today's episode. Today's episode? Eh, it's an episode. Screw it. It's an episode. I'm going to end off today's video here. Thank you so much for watching. Really, really hope you enjoyed. Huge thank you to all the members, as always, especially Infdu. Really appreciate it. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Forward.